talk to me about the first time you felt like something's different, like people are treating me different based upon how I physically look. When I was in elementary school, probably because, I mean, just the area I grew up in, being all white and everything, and me being half black, I'm like, I feel like my features are predominantly black features. Adults would even ask me that, like little, when I was little, they asked me stuff like that, or like, you know, a lot of people didn't believe my dad was white Ooh. for some reason. I have, I get a lot of like, just people don't really know what I am or how to react to me. Especially like when I speak, for some reason that's different. Do you feel like there's a connotation with, with vocabulary? Like yes. people associate particular kinds of blackness with particular yes. things you're talking about? Definitely, there. it's a very known difference. Like when I moved to Houston and like me speaking the way that I speak, you know, they're just like, why do you sound white? But I'm like, that's not me being white. I'm just like using proper English. I'm just like, that's just how I talk. Like I'm not any different. Like I even like, I've had white people be like, oh, you're not like them. And I'm like, what does that even mean? Like I'm still black, like I still, treat myself like or carry myself in the form that I'm like African-American. I'm not ever going to look at it differently simply for the fact that I've been treated like that my whole life. My parents always raised me just basically simply for the fact that my dad is white, my mom is black. They always raised me to like not ever see color and the fact that to me like that's just normal like my dad being white that's normal to me so I see stuff like that that's normal like I don't see it any differently. When I moved to Houston that was right around the time when everything in Ferguson happened. So that just like completely changed my view of like white people. Cause like that was hard for me because it's like, I grew up in an all white area. And so I had no idea that any of this was happening until I like got out of that area. That's when I really became in touch with myself. Like started to realize I don't need to straighten my hair to be beautiful. I don't need to wear makeup to be beautiful. I can just be myself. So right then and there, like, I just cut that all off. Stop straightening my hair, stop wearing makeup, started. I would say really being myself. You can't change the way people see you. You just have to deal with it. You don't even have to really deal with it. You don't even have to talk to those people. If they don't want to talk to you because of how you are, or like, if you're weird or whatever, they don't want to be friends with you, they don't want to talk to you. Okay.